Come on now. Oh wait, there's a corner there. Oh, I've made a mistake. No! Don't take a picture of my demise! guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm actually super excited for today's video because I'm going to be returning to a simulator that I've not driven or played with basically for the last couple of years now I think. It's been quite a long time. And that sim is Richard Burns Rally. Now if you don't know Richard Burns Rally, um, why? Richard Burns Rally is like the godfather of all rally simulators. And despite coming out back in 2005 when I looked a little bit like this, the base game, although limited in car choice, is still one of the best rally sims you can play today, 100%. But it gets better, a lot better. Anyone involved in Richard Burns Rally or the community will know that no one really plays the base game. And that's because modders have basically defiled this game in every way possible. It is glorious. So I'm going to show you some of that today by booting up the Rally Sim Fans modded version of Richard Burns Rally. Just before I get into embarrassing myself though, if you do enjoy the video at any point, I'd very much appreciate you just tapping that like button. You can subscribe too, uh, if you like. We're already halfway to 700k subscribers. Uh, it feels like we hit 600k just the other day, which is kind of mad. So thank you all so much for your support. It's been pretty mad. So we've just booted up the Rally Sim Fans version of Richard Burns Rally. And the first thing I want to show you is the car list, because this is this is the sort of stuff that you dream of. So I've just hit all here and I'm going to very quickly just scroll through all the different cars available here. The choice is just absolutely mad. And it even includes the best car of a lot, the Shrabun. So obviously, best game 2021. And not only does this mod include just loads of cars, the bulk of the download are stages. Because Richard Burns Rally, like any game, once you play all the stages, you sort of memorize them. It sort of loses the appeal of a rally game. That isn't going to happen here. Let me just take you through the new tarmac tracks. Just the tarmac. Let's just scroll through. Let's just scroll through here. Keep scrolling. We're still scrolling. We're still going. We're still going. There you go. That's just tarmac stages. And as you guys might know, I'm a massive fan of the DC8, so much so that I actually bought one because I'm stupid. So the first car we're going to try out is a legendary 555 Impress, which of course is driven by the late Colin McRae. And we're going to drive it on Capo di Fennel. I'm saying that incorrectly, of course. Uh, sounds like an Italian name, maybe. Please correct me if I'm wrong, because I definitely am. A stage that I'll admit that I have run through once because I was trying to make sure the controls are bound, etc. But otherwise, completely new to me. So, Richard Burns Rally in 2021. Madness. Right, so we're going to put it in first gear. Clutch in. Handbrakes in the back here. River up. Good start. And away we go then. In our Impreza. Full H pattern box. So the full experience, including shifting a clutch on the way up. Heel and toe on the way down. Nice understeer there. And already you'll probably hear, if you can hear over the sound of my very annoying voice, just how awesome this car sounds. That's one of the things that have come with the modded version of this game is F mod, which is an awesome sound engine. Just listen a little bit. Anyone who's watched any onboard of this car, you'll recognise that whine, that gearbox whine. It's just amazing. Gearbox or diff, one of the two. But it's just awesome to have that detail there. It really helps you put you in the car. And admittedly, of course, this game does look like a 15 slash 16 year old game but the way it feels the way we're on tarmac right now and tarmac was one of the big weaknesses of richard burns the original game it feels just fantastic in this version it really does i'm not driving at any particularly good pace here but it's just this is up there with no, in fact this is better than dirt rally 2 handling although dirt rally 2 handling on, a, on tarmac is pretty awful. And I'd say equal, if not slightly better than the WRC9 handling on tarmac, which is just an amazing feat for modders. This game is not an easy game to mod either. It's not, it's not a matter of drag and drop files when you're modding this thing. The amount of work put into it to get it to this stage is just insane. And I'm upset that it's taken me this long to sort of go back to it when people have been telling me to do so for absolutely ages. But that's... Let's enjoy some of the driving a bit, shall we? Try and speed up a little bit. I say that. Oh, God. Straight away goes into a wall. Oh, I love this little new panel down on the left there as well. Really, you know, 
if, from, from a viewer's perspective anyway, I'm sure it's awesome to see the little details of the car there. Easy. There you go. Woo! Quiet right, 50, reach on left, don't come, 70, fast right. I saw a hill and I panicked and I shifted down. Oh man. This is amazing. I love this. I really do. This is so awesome. What's fun for me personally is getting to drive stages I've not driven before or I'm not familiar with. Oh, get off that. Tarmac tires don't like that. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, nearly. That was nearly good. It's my career summed up. Nearly good. Oh, it's so satisfying going up for the gears as well. Just hearing that whine. Again, I've, I've watched so many onboards of this car over the years and just... Someone's got the sound. It, it shouldn't be left to Richard Burns Riley to get the sound right, but it has been. Bit of a short stage, this one. Through we go. <laughs> and we killed our co-driver. <laughs> Let's do some more. Obviously, I've got to try the Trabant. I have to. It's a front-wheel drive. 65 horsepower, but it doesn't weigh very much. Hopefully, the weight will carry us through. It's going to be all about momentum in this thing, but who could ever resist such a, such a lovely little car made out of what is essentially asbestos? <laughs> And because I like suffering, oh look, listen to it pop! Because I like suffering, we're going for a snow stage. Um, let's see how it goes. Oh, the two-stroke baby! <laughs> oh no, no, I'm, no, I'm into this. I'm into this 100% now. If I wasn't sold on this mod, I am now. Oh god, the hill! Come on, handbrake. Come on, give me something. Who the hell invented hills, man? That's the bullshit. I'm trying to slide the car, but there's not really any power to do that with. So it's just sort of... Let's just try not to slow down, I guess. There's an odd, like, challenge to driving this car. I'm not really fulfilling it right now. It's basically just about keeping your speed up. And because it's a two-stroke, there's no power anywhere above pretty much maximum revs. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It's almost like having a turbo. It's like driving a cart. But obviously not a cart. Not... Oh, I slid it! I didn't die. A little bit of a handbrake on the way in. Look at that. I'm actually a pro. I'm actually the best rally driver of all time. You just know there's someone running a series of these things. If there is, please contact me. I want to be in it. The thing is, I'm so trained to driving like the rally style where you shift early for torque that I shift into third gear and there's nothing there. There's just disappointment in third gear. Apparently this is the five speed. I don't think we're going to be getting above third at any point. It's only a short stage this, but made infinitely longer with the fact that we're not really moving. I wonder if we can get to 100Ks. 100Ks if you're from my part of the world is 60 mile an hour. That'll be the dream. If we get to 60, we've achieved something. Oh, it might happen here. No, can't. Got a break. No. No. Bono, my Trabant is stuck. Come on, mighty Trabant. Nay. Vladimir, it's stuck. Cheers, lads. Appreciate it. We're away again. The lads gave us a bottle of vodka to get on with as well, so it should be a, a fun end of stage. <laughs> oh, but... oh, no. You can't kill it. It's impossible to kill Japan. <laughs> Come on now. Oh wait, there's a corner there. Oh, I've made a mistake. No! Don't take a picture of my demise! Oh, I've not mapped reverse. Oh, I've made a big mistake. Vladimir, I've done it again! Don't judge me! Come on, poppy boys, go! They just ran off into the trees. Back to the caves they came from. Oh my god. This reminds me of my first car. Although this is actually probably slower than my first car, which is super impressive. I really do hope there is a Trabant League out there. We'll make it the most prestigious racing league in rallying, 100%. I'm actually genuinely interested in doing that. If someone knows how to set leagues up in Richard Burns, let's do like a Trabant, a Trabant League, and let's get loads of really, uh, loads, of, loads of sim racers involved. Oh God. Is that the finish down there? Oh, it's right there. I made it! And I only burnt like four gallons of oil. This game doesn't have just historic cars, it also has some modern machinery as well. 
including this i20 coupe WRC. So we're going to give this a go, and given that these cars are basically modern, modern Group B cars, but faster, which is mad to think, I'm kind of interested to see how that translates to a game that really wasn't made for anything this quick, so this should be fun. Right, so this is actually a fast car. So I'm interested to see how I get on with this one. I have discovered, though, that I can't seem to use anything but H-pattern now. So we're going to H-pattern this modern car. Do it proper Group B style. And this is a lot faster <laughs> than the other cars already. And I'm going to be taking it quite easily because it's quite easy to actually spin these things. If you're not careful, this feels good. Take that out of context, I don't care. This feels some proper stuff. Bailey, you should be driving this, mate. <laughs> That's my Bailey call out for the day. Okay, trying to like, keep up with the stage as well. Whilst driving, talking, listening to the co-driver, calling out Bailey. It's a difficult combination. Second gear. I'm going quite slow, though, because I'm not really sure how much grip I've got. Oh, my God. You all should be playing this game in 2021. 100%. It is just fantastic. Like, this feels on par with WRC9 on gravel and given that WRC9 is a game that came out this year sorry last year I should say 2020 uh, 2020 keep forgetting that happened that's just amazing it really is Touch in. oh my god that's fast get in there sorry fence no, get off the fence, thank you. And the force seat back, whilst there are a lot of, you know, I'm not feeling every bump in the road, I am feeling the majority of them through my direct drive wheel, which I think is just amazing. You know, direct drive wheels did not exist when this game came out. Neither did my driving skill. Oh God, I've, I've done it again. Vladimir, cheers Vlad. Oh, they've taken the front of my car. But I'm a downforce. But to go back to my point before I crash, it's just amazing what these guys have done with this game. And it definitely uh, deserves your support. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to go check it out for yourself. Easy. Wait, where am I going? Left or right? Oh, oh I'm... Vladimir! I'm looking forward to sort of playing this game when I'm not recording, so I can sort of concentrate more on what's going on. Problem I have right now is when I'm trying to talk. I talk over the co-driver a lot. Oh my god. This is so good. It feels like you're properly chucking a car through a gravel trail. Like, all the violence of it, you know. That is... On this NGP6 model, it's just amazing. It really is. I can't say enough good things about it. Oh my god, the power. Nearly 400 horsepower, these cars. They really do kick. With that super clever diff, they just grab and go, basically. There it is! Freedom! Wow. I am blown away by that. Well guys, that is the Sim Racing Fans mod for Richard Burns Rally. And if you don't have this right now and you're a PC user and you're a massive rally fan, you need this. Honestly, it is fantastic. In fact, I'm going to go for the big statement here and say that Given its longevity and how open it's been to modders and how amazing it feels even now in 2021, of course, with the help of mods, but even the base game still feels pretty damn good. Richard Burns Rally is one of the greatest sims of all time. If you haven't played it, you owe yourself to go and give it a go because it will change your perspective on rallying for forever. It changed mine. I went from thinking, oh, that looks a bit spooky, but I reckon I could do it to fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no thanks, I'm good. But yes guys, again, link below in the description if you want to go check out the mods for yourself. Definitely worth it. And if you enjoyed the video, once again, I would appreciate if you tap that like button. Subscribe if you want as well to be notified of future videos like this. Maybe we'll do some more Richard Burns rally content. Maybe we'll set up a series or something. That'll be a lot of fun, I think. Thank you so much as well to the Patreons and members of this channel for supporting me and helping me make content like this. It's very much appreciated. Take care, have an awesome day, and I'll see you all next time.